hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in MVC how to bind the data from database into a drop-down list using link to SQL class and here we got the final output and notice the drop-down list control we got the country names India US and Australia let's check the database table also the country names the table name is a country which contains two columns CID and C name and the C name is a country name which contains India, US and Australia. If you are a first time visitor to my channel please subscribe to get the latest updates. For this video tutorial I am creating a new MVC application. Go to file, new, project And from the web templates, I'm selecting ASP.NET Web Application and the .NET Framework I'm using 4.6.1. The application name is MVC Binding Dropdown List Link to SQL is the project name. Click OK. And from the templates, I'm selecting MVC. Click OK. And the project is created successfully. Let's close this default window. I've opened Solution Explorer. Now, in this project, I'm adding the link to SQL class. Right click the project name. Add link to SQL I'm adding that one the item name I'm not changing click OK and here we got the .dbml data class 1 is added to our project the next step open server explorer now in the server explorer under data connections let's add our database name right click the data connections add connection I'm adding server name now I'm selecting database name sample DB is my user database I have selected test connection it's exceeded ok ok and here the sample db dbo is added under our data connections let's expand the database sample db dbo here you can find that objects of this sample db.dpo let me expand this tables folder just for the demo purpose I'm adding this country table name just drag and drop on the .dbml page after that let's open solution explorer minimize the references folder now in this controllers folder I'm adding a new controller right click the controllers add controller I'm selecting MVC5 controller empty add the controller name is the country controller add and here the controller is added now in this public action result index method I'm adding the data classes one data class one data context this is the object new data class one data context after that I'm adding view bag dot message is equals to new select list select list dc dot countries In the countries table, I have two columns, CID and CNA. Let's add these two columns. CID, comma, CNA, semicolon. In the return view, I'm adding index page. That's it. We have added the coding part in the controller. Now we require the index view page, but before adding the index view page to this project first we have to build this application build build solution 
and the project is successfully built we got a message in the output message let's close this output message box now right click the index add view the view name is index only and the template empty without model add and here we got the index view page now first in this index view page I'm adding at model i enumerable the project name mvc underscore the project dot I'm adding the country table name after that let's change this header index to populate data from database into drop down list using link to SQL horizontal line now after the horizontal line I'm adding it HTML dot drop down list and this drop down list the first one is a string name our string name here the table name is a country comma now the second parameter is a string option label so I'm adding the view bag message we're getting the data from the view bag as select list comma is the label of the drop down list control select country that's it we have binded the country name into this drop down list now it's time to check the results on the browser but before on this application the most important we need to change our the controller name open solution explorer app underscore start expand that one or route config.cs file open that one in the route config.cs file notice the controller is a home which is a default one let's delete that one and our controller name is a country controller this one let's copy that one and add in the controller name and the action result is the index only which is this one index.cshtml page that's it we have done the complete coding part it's time to check the results on the browser google chrome and here we got the final output and notice the drop down list control we got the country names india us and australia let's check the database table also the country names the table name is a country which contains two columns CID and C name and the C name is a country name which contains India US and Australia in this C name column we have binded into this drop down list control India US and Australia that's it